Hi there, welcome to the next video and in this video I will show you the apply function. So in my previous video if I show you I have talked about how you can you know perf with the help of the for loop you can create a calculated column. So what we calculated was the average price per room as a new column and with the help of the LOC and uh, different parameters like IND and row which are part of the data frame right so here in this uh, new video I want to show you how you can use the apply function and get a similar sort of an output without even using the for loop so what I have already imported is the two libraries pandas and numpy and then I have uh, already got the Boston data set that I have used it earlier and here I'm showing you the first couple of observation now what I want to show you is that let's say for some reason we want to uh, apply some of the predefined functions in packages like a numpy here in this case I have used so the example that I have for you is that let's say for some reason there is a need that you need to apply a mean or square root or some sort of a function on each of the row of a column then how you can do that so first thing is you can always use the for loop and get the desired output as we have done in the previous video I just showed you how you can do that as well as uh, here what I'll do is I will go ahead and create a new column like sqrt square root price and uh, I will use the Boston and call the price dot apply and within the apply I will say np numpy np dot sqrt right so once I execute that it should return no issue and execute perfectly fine so what we are saying that create the new column in Boston data set with the name sqrt underscore price uh, by applying the square root on each of the value of price column all right so if I go ahead and show you the first couple of observation here I have the square root price for each of the price value of the price column so that's how uh, very easily using the apply function you can use either the existing or a predefined functions like the sqrt or something else as well as you can have your own user defined function let's say for example you have uh, you are using one other function which does some specific calculation maybe like uh, the one which was there to calculate the average uh, room per price by dividing the price with the rm then even you can apply that also over here uh, that is your custom function or a user defined function over here and get the desired output by creating a new column into the data set and that's why it has it's very handy and useful in scenarios like uh, whenever you need to do the feature engineering to create a new columns based on some calculations similarly you can uh, have the even the if you are using the string data and all you can have a different type of uh, predefined string uh, like str or capitalize count you know find and all of those things which which basically helps you to get the output probably find will not work but the count and capitalize and all of those which actually returns just one output should should work fine so you can experiment with this apply function on your uh, either textual data or on your numerical data and get the output in the desired format well that's pretty much all for it uh, with the apply function and i'll meet you in the new video the new topic